Hey Pisces, it's Goddess Puff. Let's jump into it with an oracle card message for Pisces. What is going on with my Pisces placements? What does Pisces need to know? Black pepper, banishment. So you're completely removing something. I don't know why I'm seeing pepper on someone's face. <laughs> okay, coriander, immortality. Ginger, power. Ooh, chili pepper, ferocity. So it's like, you have three cards here. Immortality is like always bouncing back from a situation no matter what. Power, self-explanatory, then ferocity. So I feel like you're coming back. This is like someone who's like, I'm seeing a firecracker or dynamite or something being lit and someone's trying to like stomp it out, but it just comes back on its own or it just keeps going. So you're coming back like 10 times stronger with something or someone tried to banish you, get rid of you, put your spark out and that just did not happen. That actually made it worse. <laughs> Sheesh, you're very feisty when it comes to something. Really, oof. All right, for Pisces. I don't know if you have a lot of fire in your chart or you're just really feisty when it comes to something. All right, we have garden. Something lovely will grow from this. 15. I just keep hearing you cannot be put out or something just cannot be stopped. Princess, you can be your own knight. So she has a sword in both of these. Something lovely will grow from this. You can be your own knight. Evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt, too. So, okay, yeah. Realizing or knowing, not even realizing, just simply knowing that you deserve better and not settling for less in a situation. That Okay, I see why you act in the way you're acting. Because I'm like... Why are you so fiery right now? <laughs> like you're not playing with something. Overall energy is sword, make the change, seven. So it's like three swords here and lots of fire. Even in this card, you're like, because I don't feel like anyone, maybe someone did try to play with you, but I feel like the moment someone tries, they're getting their feelings hurt is the energy I'm getting for you. I don't feel like you've backed down from a situation even a little bit. You're getting someone together. I feel really bad for whoever this is. <laughs> All right, for Pisces. <laughs> like, yikes. Six, victory and success. Yeah, that's a no-brainer with this type of energy. I just feel like it's like... You're going to win. Inevitably, you're just not giving up on something until you win. Because I feel like you have a knowing. Like, this is a reading where you know you're going to be successful at something. The energy right here is like, you just know. Sacral chakra, that's fire, too. <laughs> Intuition, a knowing, too. <laughs> so you have two, two, two here. And overall energy is six. So you have six, six, two, two material and spiritual prosperity. So there is something you're going after financially, whether it's in your career or your own business, or maybe you're going back to school. I don't know. There's something that you're doing to increase your material and spiritual prosperity, and you're going to be successful at it. Especially if you're trying to decide on whether or not you should make some type of change here or go after something. This is a, this whole reading is a huge yes do it. You will be successful. This reading is just a huge yes. <laughs> and this is for all Pisces placements. All right, let's get into the tarot for Pisces. Even as I'm shuffling, you have the six of wands, which is victory, success, praise, public acknowledgement. And, and even before I cut the deck, you have the higher font. And then overall energy is already the nine of pentacles, single, solid, stable, financially independent energy here. Two of swords, justice. So if there was any type of temporarily, ugh, if there was any type of temporary block that's being removed, you're getting justice for that. 
So even if like someone tried to hold you up for like a day, <laughs> you're getting justice for that. <laughs> Two of Cups, you're meant to have justice. Also, you could be dealing with a Libra. Then you have two of wands. So you could have had a temporary temporary block where you were like one foot in, one foot out of a situation or halfway through something, but you're getting justice for that. You're coming out of that and stepping into something new. Nine of Pentacles. So expect your finances to increase. Expect there to be a victory in a situation. Let's clarify. Clarify for Pisces. This is great. Nice energy. Clarifying the two of swords is the queen of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign or have it highly aspected. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I see that you see a clear way out of a situation. Yeah, eight of cups. You're literally walking away from a temporary block or walking away. It could have just been a mental block as well. It could have been you simply trying to decide whether you should do something with the two of swords. But with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you see clearly how to get out of something or you just made the decision to walk away from something. You made the decision to make the change. Clarifying justice is judgment. You call judgment on a situation. Like you, this is the final say over a situation. Knight of Cups. So this could have been an offer or an apology or an offer towards you and you finally made the decision on how you're gonna to respond to something. Someone could be trying to offer you something or apologize after you've walked away. Or you could have been deciding whether or not to take someone's offer. Clarifying the Two of Cups is the death card, Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles. This could involve a work or family. I feel like you're you're destined for this Ten of Pentacles, this longevity, this stability, these finances. I see you ending a connection, whether it's family, friend, work, or love, and becoming this Nine of Pentacles. So you could be stepping away from a family member, a friend, whomever. Yeah, I see you deciding to walk away from someone. Two of Wands, clarifying the Two of Wands. Yeah, you were indecisive at first. Three of Pentacles, about whether or not to work something out with someone. Eight of Wands, but there's about to be movement. So if you felt stuck, things are about to move. And this doesn't even have to be love. This could be work, you know. It's going to be different for everyone watching it. Apply it how it applies for you. But whatever decision you make, I see it ending in a financial increase for you. Your money is definitely about to increase significantly. And I feel like the only blockage here was for you to decide what you want to do, whatever change that is for you. As soon as you decide, as soon as you make the decision, things move like really quickly. Things are going to pick up very quickly as soon as you make the decision with the Eight of Wands as the overall energy. But you must first like walk out of something or walk away from something or just take action. But it's a guaranteed victory um, call, uh, <laughs> when you make the final judgment call. I do see a lot of you because there is an offer here, Knight of Cups. And I do see a lot of you deciding to work with someone. This could be a job offer, a relationship, a partnership of some kind is coming in. And I feel like you and this person will make a great team, especially if they're a Scorpio or they have Scorpio highly aspected. We have Libra here, um, Virgos here. Could be any sign. Oh, we have Sagittarius, but of course we're in Sagittarius season. So Eight of Wands here. All right, let me get you your final. So I do see you making a decision to collaborate for some of you. I see you would work very well with someone. Some of you could be walking away from one thing to work with someone else, or someone could be walking away from something in order to become independent you know either way your money's going up with whatever you decide to do emotion so you're walking away from something emotionally with four emotion and the eight of cups here 
communication, that eight of wands is coming in. So expect an offer with two. Could be an emotional offer. 25, cleansing. That's you walking away from something, making the final decision, death card. And the overall energy is three, desire. What do you want in the situation? That's what you need to figure out here. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.